Hi, how are you? I am Dilofa, a watercolor artist, and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be con continuing our floral journey, but this time we are going to be doing something different. This is not going to be the same stroke that we have been doing yet, that is the new drop stroke. Now we are going to be experimenting and learning a new stroke by which we would be able to um, try out different type of floral or different sets of floral which are a little complex which are more rounded or which has a little bit of turn and twist so this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be painting an anemone flower and this is how this beautiful flower looks it for this to paint this flower though it looks similar to what we have already painted like the five petal flower or so but the petals are different the, the strokes are different and the, the whole way of holding the brush is a little different and even the turn of the brush is a little different. So be very attentive during the tutorial because we are going to be doing something really different this time. So let's get started and I hope you have been enjoying all the tutorials and have been trying all the tutorials. We, I do look forward to all your practice and all your tryouts. You can always send out um, send out a message on Instagram, or you can also uh, send out an email. Uh, it's me with a pencil at gmail.com. It's also written in the description below. And we look forward to all your practices, all right? So let's get started. To paint the ceremony, we are going to be using some of materials throughout the entire series i'm going to be using similar materials that is a cancer watercolor paper and the round brush with a fresh jar of water tissue papers and our watercolor sets all right so let's get started so for anemone you can use like a deeper darker shades i like to mix a little purple this is the purple that i use a dark side purple so you can mix the purple with a little crimson as always creating a nice purple crimson cut shade you can see a little bit more dark side so you get a nice lavender kind of a color for this okay the stroke is going to be a little different okay for rather than uh, holding the brush straight or any other stroke you're going to be relaxing your hand you can relax the, your hand and keep the brush at 45 degree angle. It is not straight, it is not like this or any other straight, but it is like on the 45 degrees angle and relax, really relax. So we're gonna be creating like an M stroke. Take one, see there's a nice wiggle and then you come down. Okay. So it probably looks like this, one and two. Okay, that's how it also you can say it looks like a tooth or something, <laughs> but it has a nice wiggle and it, it's okay if you do not, you know, come down to the space. So make sure you, you do at least one wiggle and always touch the belly of the brush at the bottom of the paper so that uh, the bottom of your belly touching on the paper so that you get a nice wiggle in your hand and the brush opens up and then you can bring, the, bring them together like this at the end. Let me do it again. One, wiggle, a car. So it also looks like an M, but when you close it, you can't see the M, but it is going in an M shaped direction. One, two, like one, two, three, and four. Okay, now let's put this into a flower. Okay, now for painting anemone, you make sure that you have three strokes. It looks like a fan. Okay, and you go one. Wiggle, two, and three. Now, if you want, you can rotate the paper, and this will be the symbol of strokes. One, wiggle, two, three. Again. Now, this is I'm doing it down. I'm going to be doing it downwards. One, wiggle, two, three. Okay. Now you can see there's like a lot of space here. We're going to overlap it. Like how we do our overlapping sections, overlapping technique. Now let the petals dry first and then overlap it, or else you won't be able to see the nice overlapping space. One, two, three, wiggle and come down. 
you need to see these nice overlapping wing shapes. That's where you get to see it looks pretty. And you go one, wiggle, two, down. Nice and pretty. Three, four. Right? Now, at all times, make sure you are maintaining the center of your uh, anomaly because the center is important. You cannot bind the center. Let the center be there. If you leave the center space properly, like a one finger space, see, approximately one finger space, if you don't leave the center space, the, the flower will not symmetrically align together. If you leave the center space, the, the alignment of the flowers around the petals would be equal and very similar. So always try to leave the center space as it is. That's the reason why I did the first three strokes like this, made a fan like shape and then did my stroke over it, keeping the center as it is. I made a guideline and then made the petals and then my center source, my center was intact. Okay, now I'm going to remove some color so that there's a nice shading of light and dark. And then you can take another same color and you can leave some spots on the side. Nice and pretty flowers. Again, I'm, I'll be using a sap green for my greens. And this is the paints gray for the gray. Okay, this is for the center, paints gray. Now take your sap green a little and then go in and add a little bit of stems and show add the green stones you can make the leaf as you like and you go Ta -da. now i'm going to also do the sides of this flower so that the side of the flower looks really uh, can complement the center of the flower all right so let's do a side flower now now for the side angle of this flower it's a little different from most of the side angles First, in this one, we're going to make the, the bottom petal, like a nice wiggle. Again, I'm adding like a zigzag shape. The shape looks like this, right? It's like an S. One, two, and then again you go back one, two, okay? And you remove this, take a damp brush and remove some color so that you can create nice distinguish over there. And then take a dark color and add a bit, like how we've been doing it with the previous ones in the marigold or any other color videos you would see. Adding a high pigmented color to create nice shadows. Now this is the base. Now from here, from the base, we're not going to be overlapping much over here when you're doing the side. I'm creating one, the same wiggle, two, and let me do another one. So it kind of looks like an oyster shell space, you know, like how an oyster will open up. I feel it always looks like that. And I like to keep it that way. It looks lovely. And then you make a half D-shaped center and give up a nice, nice D-D little, little, little dots around it. And here you are. Your lovely... Um, side petal flowers and if you want again go back and you can add your deep shapes and that's it make sure you add your leaf and your petals always Ta -da. doesn't it always look lovely even here if you want you can add like while it's still wet now it's dry, dried, so I can't add, but you can also add like these kind of definitions while it is still wet. Like you can see here, up down, here, while it was still wet, I've added some definitions. So that too you can do uh, using the same dark pigment technique. All right, that's it. So this is it, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like I said, this tutorial had a little different tips and, uh, tips and tricks and also a different angle to do these different strokes. Be carefully, take, go through the tutorial and also try the angle, try the brush stroke well. 
practice the strokes because when before uh, going to the actual flower remember to practice the strokes well try it a couple of times like at least 10 15 times until you get the stroke right and then go be create these different types of flowers different whole scene of flowers always remember to practice first and then start painting it's very important so i hope you enjoyed and uh, do go in and check out all the different flowers uh, tutorial and also share with your people share with your friends anybody who would love to try watercolors and haven't tried or is struggling with watercolors do share the, the tutorial this tutorial there are multiple different types of tutorial that i've done on watercolor which will help you get started into your watercolor journey so do not forget and i hope to see you in the next tutorial take care and bye bye